Hey everybody, it's Ryan again, and I want to do a quick overview and a review of the Celestron Nexstar 130SLT telescope. This thing is pretty sweet, but I won't get ahead. What I'm going to share in this video are a couple of things. One, what can you see in the night sky? Two, how easy is it to use? And three, is it a telescope that allows for, let's just say, upgrades? So if you want to kind of take this thing to the next level, you know, how easy is it to do that? So first and foremost, the first thing that you can see from my personal experience uh, with my son is that you can obviously, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but you can definitely see the moon in the night sky. But a lot of telescopes will allow you to do that. That's cool. Um, but I can say this is a telescope where I was also able to witness for the first time in my life the rings of Saturn. So yes, it, but depending on the uh, weather conditions and all that fun stuff, uh, you can, in a good night sky, see the rings of Saturn. So that was like a big win. And then on, again, the, the, the night sky has to be in, in good optimal weather and all that fun stuff, I was able to see the bands of Jupiter. So you're probably thinking, that's all really cool. So if, if those are just a couple of things that you'd like to see with this, I can tell you from my personal experience, it was pretty awesome. Uh, so it's got some strength to it. All right, now, how easy is it to use? And so as you can see, going around this, you're thinking, if you've never seen a telescope like this before, there's not all the knobs and bells and whistles and all that stuff to kind of uh, adjust this thing. Well, you would be correct in assuming this thing is powered. So inside, inside this box, there is batteries. Yep, it's got batteries. And inside here, there's eight AA batteries that do not come with this. Uh, and they allow you to power this handy dandy remote. It's LED, it lights up when you turn it on. Um, and it will, it's pretty cool. You just use the keypad and you can, you, it, you literally control this thing. So it allows for smooth operation. I'd say the battery life is pretty good. Um, we use it quite frequently and, and uh, I think maybe in, We've had it for, I don't know, six months. We might have changed the batteries on it maybe two times. So but three, we're on our third set of batteries, but it does get used a lot. Um, it does come with a, a nine millimeter eyepiece as well as a 25 millimeter uh, eyepiece that you can curl. So this is your kind of your And so when, you, when you're thinking of zooming in and out, this is really just your focuser. Um, this is, this is, this is a, uh, going to basically bring you in and out of focus. Uh, that is not done with your remote here. That is done on, on this. You got, it comes with a cap to protect the, the lens down inside there. Try, so you can keep the dust out. It snaps on nice and neat. Uh, it also comes with a... Uh, and then this is a viewfinder to find objects, but it's, it's uh, laser driven. So if you could see in there, I don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera. Um, it's kind of illuminated. You kind of see inside there, but there is a laser right there. Uh, it, you, just can't, you can't, you're not gonna be able to pick it up the camera. Uh, but that shoots out, and I don't think we've had to change the battery on that. And that doesn't come with a battery uh, either. Flat lithium type batteries that you would pick up, like, like something you'd have like in your key fob for a, uh, uh, like your car keys or something. Um, pretty. Pretty, uh, pretty easy to put in and out. You just got your, your one screw there and it just pops out and puts it right back in there. Uh, so from an ease of use standpoint, this thing is pretty easy. And that's, that's what I like. I like easy, simple to use. Um, we've had some other ones where the handles turn or whatever. And, and just for me personally, my personal opinion, it was just a lot of work to kind of figure out what knob did what. This is just super, super easy um, with that. All right, so you might be wondering, like, what does what? So you have a on and off switch right here. See how it's moving? Pretty cool. It's got some. It's already set up. You can see it just it moves nice and smooth, nice and smooth. And you can see here, this is illuminated. All right, so you have your display there. there again, there's your on and off. So pretty easy to use. And then it allows for other 
um, adapters and upgrades and different things you can add to that as, as well as uh, wired power but we're always walking around with this thing. So if you're looking for a telescope that is one easy to use, two you can see things like Saturn, actually the rings of Saturn, uh, Jupiter, and I think I, I'm pretty sure we saw some of the moons of Jupiter, which was also pretty cool, not to mention get a really good shot of just the the moon uh, 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 orbiting Earth. And, uh, and then again, if you want to upgrade this, uh, you can add stuff that does not come with it, and it will connect to a, a DSLR camera that's completely separate, doesn't come with this. Get, do your own research on as far as that's concerned and how to connect that, but it is uh, one of those telescopes that allows for upgrades to get the most out of it. Hope this helps uh, you in your telescope search, and we'll talk to you soon.